Check this out. It's a fully translucent mechanical keyboard. It was sent to me by Keyboom. Thanks guys. It's called their Phantom 81. It's an 81 key DIY keyboard set. I knew this keyboard was coming but I never saw any pictures to keep my first impressions fresh. I didn't even know this was a translucent keyboard when I was opening it. Inside the box you get a complimentary foam, that's good. And you also get a pretty good quality cleaning cloth. And there's the manual and it has quite a lot of features. And it is a hot swappable keyboard so these switches can be removed. And there is the keyboard itself, man. I've never seen a translucent keyboard in person and this is my new keyboard now. And I was surprised how heavy this thing is. It's the heaviest, most unique keyboard I've ever owned. And on the top there's a toggle for Windows and Mac and you can switch between the connection modes. We'll take a look in a second and the back is translucent as well with a nice metallic plaque saying Keyboom. It has a USB Type-C port for charging and wired mode. It even has a 2.4 GHz receiver which is built right in. And there it is, the first light up. Tell me that's not the coolest keyboard you've ever seen. I mean it looks like the keys are floating on RGB. And it's surprisingly well made for the price. Like I wasn't expecting a $159 keyboard to be this interesting. Like this thing is on par with my Keychron K2 V2 but it's vastly more interesting. I mean look at this thing, it's a guaranteed conversation starter. <laughs> and there's a pretty good quality Type-C cable as well in the box. Along with a switch puller, a keycap puller and two extra translucent switches. Let's take a closer look and see how they have done it. You can see the legends are not shine through but who cares, the entire keycap is translucent so it doesn't matter. It's full of clever designs like look at this, the 2.4 GHz receiver gets magnetically attached on the back with a tiny magnet in its place. Simple and functional, that's great. The keycaps have a gentle curve to them on the top which helps your fingers map them easily. And no, the lights don't flicker like this in real life, that's the camera's shutter speed making it look that way. And it has side lighting as well, which there is a special setting for that. You can switch between LED modes using function and backslash key. There are more commands, we'll take a look in a second. But let's see how this switch is done. I mean here it is, that's the translucent switch of this keyboard compared to a Gatron Milky Yellow. You can see the difference. They're both identical in terms of design and structure, but of course one is translucent. And these switches actually feel thockier. I think it's because of the keyboard's design. This keyboard is much denser than any of the other keyboards I've had. And as I mentioned, it is hot swappable, so let's try that. Look at this, the keycaps look like ice cubes when you take them out. And there it is, it's a south facing LED. I think that's what they call it, you know, LED on the bottom. So you can install something like a Gat Milky Yellow upside down on this and it works perfectly fine. You can install regular keycaps on this as well if you are some kind of a psycho like me. But if you're a normal person, please use it as a translucent thing because that's the coolest part of this. I know you'll be mad at me if I don't give you a sound test, so here you go. And during the sound test I realized that this volume dial actually doesn't respond if you spin it too fast. Or maybe it's Windows that doesn't respond that fast. But as long as you turn it like a normal human being and not a neurotic chimpanzee, you'll be fine. Even at a regular spinning speed, it's faster than pressing buttons to change the volume. And that tactile feel alone will make you use it more than any button. I'm a fidgety guy so I'll be playing with it for no reason. That's what he said. I'm not exaggerating when I say this is the best feeling keyboard I have ever used and probably even the best sounding one. That's crazy because I have a Keychron K2 V2 which is like a popular choice for entry level keyboard enthusiasts and this thing is leaps and bounds ahead of that. Like seriously, I can't imagine why anyone would pay $159 for a Keychron when you can get this thing. Show me one other keyboard in the market with these many unique features and such a nice build quality. Nothing about this feels cheap. After using this, my Keychron feels cheap. 
I can't believe that. Ah, oh, Kibum, what have you done? You spoiled me now. And these stabilizers are also amazing. Super silent, super smooth. Again, this is the best feeling and sounding keyboard I've used till now. And probably even the best looking if you're into this whole translucent design thing. You can press function P to kind of toggle the side light and it has a few built-in modes of its own. So you can have that as a separate effect alongside your regular RGB lights. This thing is an RGB heaven or RGB nightmare if you don't like it. You can change the color by pressing function and the closing brackets or the closing square bracket. And after playing around with it, I settled on this yellow lights for my switches. I mean, that yellow reminds me of Blade Runner's theme. Alongside the 2.4 GHz, it has Bluetooth as well and can pair with three devices. You can switch between the devices by pressing function and then 1, 2 or 3. And of course, to pair it for the first time, you press and hold that individual number until that LED starts flashing. It is Bluetooth 5.0, so that's good to know. This keyboard by far has the coolest way to check your battery percentage. I mean, if you press function and backspace, the number keys light up in a greenish color to show you the battery percentage. That's so much better than having a tiny LED in the corner somewhere indicating the battery level. I mean, the entire keyboard has RGB, right? Use it. I want more companies to copy this style. It's amazing. One weird thing I noticed is that it has a home key, but no end key for some reason. Like if I compare it with my Keychron again, it has a similar layout. See page up, page down, fine. And there is home and end. But this thing doesn't have it despite having a small space next to the arrow keys. I don't know why. I mean, I use home and end keys a lot. I don't really need page up and page down. And there seems to be some kind of a chip in the place of that switch. I mean, I'm sure that chip is doing something important, but come on, there's always a way. For now, I'm just gonna use their software to kind of, you know, remap these keys. And actually, yeah, let's check out the software. I'm gonna go to their site, go to the download section and download the, the driver there. Okay, install it. There we go. And yes, it works over Bluetooth as well. You don't have to connect your keyboard with a USB cable to use this thing. There's a way to change the key sensitivity for individual keys by using the software. So that's cool. You know, if you want to use this for gaming, I guess you can use WASD with extra sensitivity. And of course, it has lighting modes. As soon as you select something, the keyboard reflects it. You can set the speed, you can change the color. You can do it with the keyboard shortcut itself. You don't need to have the software for this. And yeah, most importantly, it has macros too. So let me just fix my home and end situation. I'm going to record macros for the end key using my laptop's keyboard because this doesn't have one. And I'm also going to change the default sleep timings because by default it's way too fast. I'll let the lights be on for at least 5 minutes. And yeah, I'm going to select the page down button and set the macro for that. And yeah, it immediately works. Let me record the same home macro and then assign it to the page up key. And now I can just swap the home and page up on the keycaps here. I know the elevation doesn't look nice, but at least now I have a functional home and end pair. And now I have an extra page up key, which I don't need. I'll think of another macro for it later on. But yeah, that about does it. That's the Keyboom Phantom 81, a 1.4 kilogram heavy translucent mechanical keyboard. I'll be using this as my main keyboard from now because it just looks cool and it feels great to type on. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do with my Keychron K2V2 and I have another keyboard which I have actually sent to a special person. You will see a video on their channel soon. And since I'm using this one, I'll probably give away the Keychron in a future video. Let me think about it. And thanks to Keyboom for sending over this keyboard. It's pretty cool. I'll leave a link to their website, you can buy a bunch of stuff. Like they have other things too on their site. Apparently they sell in-ear monitors too. Wow, maybe I should check that out sometime. Let me know if you have any questions on this transparent piece of art.